testify. That's right, brother. Tell it like it is. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to explore the profound concepts of true freedom, drawing inspiration from Rabindranath Tagore's illustration of the string on the body of a violin. This illustration beautifully portrays the essence of freedom by highlighting the vital role of being bound to a purpose. Just as a string when disconnected can move freely on the table, it is only when it is bound to a violin that it can truly sing out and express its true potential. In our lives, we often associate freedom with the ability to do whatever we want, whenever we want, however we want. As Tagore's illustration suggests, True freedom isn't found in unrestrained autonomy, but in being bound to a purpose. In the same way, we can engage in various pursuits and follow our own desires, but it's only when we are bound to purposes of God through Jesus that we can truly sing out in the key of freedom. In our lives, we often associate freedom with the ability to do whatever we want, whenever we want. However, as Tagore's illustration suggests, true freedom is not found in unrestrained autonomy, but in being bound to a purpose. In the same way, we can engage in various pursuits and follow our own desires, but it's only when we are bound to the purposes of God through Jesus that we can truly sing out in the key of freedom. To delve a little bit deeper into the concept of true freedom, let us turn to the wisdom of scriptures. The Bible offers profound insights into the nature of freedom and its relationship to being bound to the purposes of God. In Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 we read, It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. See this verse emphasizes that true freedom is not about indulging in desires of the flesh but about being set free from the chains of sin and embracing the purpose that God has for our lives. Furthermore, in John chapter 8, 32, we are reminded that then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. This verse highlights the transformative power of truth in our lives. True freedom is not found in the pursuit of societal norms or personal desires, but in aligning ourselves with the truth of God's purpose for us. It is through Jesus and his teachings that we discover the ultimate truth that sets us free to live a life of purpose and fulfillment. Lastly, in 1 Peter 2.16, we are urged to live as free people, but do not use your freedom as a cover up for evil. This verse challenges our perception of freedom by reminding us that true freedom is not about doing whatever we want, but about surrendering ourselves to the will and purposes of God. By becoming slaves to God's purpose, we find the true freedom to live in alignment with our created design. In conclusion, let us reflect upon the powerful message found in Rabindranath Tagore's illustration of the string on the body of the violin. Just as the string finds its true purpose and freedom when bound to the violin, we too can experience true freedom when we are bound to the purposes of God through Jesus. By embracing God's plans for our lives, we can truly sing out in the key of freedom, fulfilling our intended purpose and experiencing a life of true joy and fulfillment. Thank you.